Uh, okay, so I got one thing. Uh, we'll start off with that. That's the rape call. And that was uh, this morning about 4.30. We had uh, somebody that saw a car that was parked and... Let me get that one. There it is. Um, so the, it says Marion Road, there must be a cul-de-sac right by there, but, um, so the, the call was to the 5700 block of South Marion Road, and like I said, it was about 4.30 this morning, I had a, a woman that lived in the neighborhood, saw a van that was parked there, and thought it just looked odd, um, so we had officers that got there, turns out there was two people inside of them, uh, inside the van, one was a a uh, 14-year-old girl, and the other was a 26-year-old man. And once they kind of started digging into this, they found out the two had started some type of relationship, at least that's what the 14-year-old thought. Uh, they had met on social media, and things progressed to the point where they met up last night. They ended up parked there. Um, there was some sexual activity that took place between the two of them. She was under the impression that he was a 16-year-old boy, um, and it was the officers that actually informed her that he was a 26-year-old. So he was arrested for fourth-degree rape and sexual contact with a child less than 16. And uh, I think that's about it, unless you guys have questions about that. I can get fourth you Fourth-degree rape, fourth-degree rape, yep. So the fourth degree yeah it's all uh, it's all laid out in the statutes but um, it's basically the age of the victim so if the victim is uh, between 13 and 16 and then the perpetrator is three years older than it's fourth degree rape so it's it's all laid out I mean it's it's all the rape statute has the the different degrees laid out in it and there's a lot of variables in there, so this is the particular one that fit. So you said the guy was 26, He's 26, yeah. Yep, and she thought he was 16. Um, okay, his last name is, I'll just spell it, R-A-S-G-A-D-O. First is Antonio, A-N-T-O-N-I-O. Middle is Ray, R-A-E. And 26 from Sioux Falls. I don't, yeah, let me see here. This is around um, probably about a month or so, just kind of a rough guess. I, she didn't have, know, I guess, exactly when it was, but um, yeah, they met, met on Snapchat and started a conversation, so to speak, that way, and then things progressed until she met up with him last night. And last night was the first time they spoke. Yeah. Was there any noise at all that the, the report came in? That, is that why they just heard it? No, it was... <clears throat> it was just the van. Just parked there. Yeah, it was parked there, and she thought it looked like somebody is, was sleeping in it. Okay. So I don't know. Uh, let me see here. I don't know if it said when they parked there. I think they had been parked there for a few hours. I don't know the exact time frame, but, um, yeah, and then it was just about 4.30 that the uh, somebody in the neighborhood saw that and called. The I'll just kind of wade through the other stuff. The aggravated assault, that was uh, a couple of guys know each other, had some type of disagreement. One punched the other, and then they started walking to a store. Along the way, the one that had been punched grabbed a metal pole and hit the other one. Both of them ended up getting arrested, but no serious injuries on that. 
the burglary, we had uh, an apartment and a couple of houses that were entered. Uh, there was also a snowblower taken from a trailer. No arrests on any of those. The counterfeiting was a fake hundred that was found. No suspects on that. <clears throat> the disorderlies, most of those are uh, involved juveniles. Uh, there's a couple other reports. The family disputes had some more reports. No arrests on any of those. The forgery was a, a check that was forged. Frauds, we had credit cards and ID thefts. Larcenies, not a whole lot there. There was some license plates, uh, wallets, some tools from a few work trucks that were taken. Uh, really nothing big to speak of. Uh, narcotics had the m normal marijuana and meth, no big quantities. The rape we covered, the two sex offenses, both of those are reports, no arrests on those. Simple assaults were mostly domestics, but nothing serious. The vandalisms were all cars that were damaged, uh, nothing concentrated in one area. And weapons violation, I don't have any reports on that. Nope. Um, let me see. It was found inside an apartment in the 4200 block of East 12th Street. So it was Somebody just saw it there. Yeah, it wasn't, nobody tried to use it or, or pass it at a business. Yep, just, it was just found, so. <clears throat> Anything else? Any updates on the gun shots at all over the weekend? No, not, nothing new on the gunshots. Okay, thanks.